Dear bike industry professionals, my name is Aisha McGowan, and I'm an elite road racer and cycling activist. You may know me from my mission to become the first African-American female professional road cyclist. I've also worked in bike advocacy, getting more women and people with disabilities into riding. Diversity and representation of minorities is a hot topic in mainstream and outdoor media right now. I noticed that several cycling companies launched marketing campaigns in an attempt to embrace the idea that cyclists come from all walks of life. Unfortunately, the content created rarely included any folks that looked like me. I have been riding bikes as an adult for 12 years. When I first started riding, I was looking for black women to look up to. And there have been a few black women that have actually gone pro, but none of them were African-American women. At the time, the competitive cycling industry was pretty much all white men and all the advertisements and all the videos and all the things that were being created. So simply existing as a black woman in this sport is a, its own form of advocacy. My situation is actually pretty unique in that I am a sponsored athlete, but I haven't been able to find a team. I've been on local smaller teams, but never a pro team, that's the goal. Most pro athletes are on a team and usually have people who know what's going on and like can give you expert opinions and help set you up. Hi. <laughs> I have Emoji the dog, he's there for moral support and cuddles, and Will, my husband, is there for everything else. I've done a lot of winging it over the years, but I don't regret racing by myself. I've created this lane because of my advocacy and my racing, I think it's the combination that makes me a valuable asset. It's a lot harder to speak out when you're on a team and might be to my detriment for teams to want to hire me because I am outspoken. I definitely define success as getting a pro contract, but if the choices are race solo or don't race at all, I'm gonna race. Whoever's ready, here we go. There's a bunch of cyclists now just riding. They don't care about anything else. Aisha McGowan finishing strong. But the cycling and the training is just as important as her advocacy. I don't think she would sacrifice one for the other. I wanted to build this community where everybody can participate. That means diversity in cultures, diversity in races, diversity in like cycling disciplines. A Quick Brown Fox started as just a blog that I was using to catalog my journey into becoming a professional athlete and sort of morphed into this platform where not only do I get to tell my story, but allowing other women of color to tell their stories. The whole idea is that we're all just riding bikes and enjoying bikes and setting individual goals because they're all important. I'm trying to like empower people to feel more comfortable trying new things. Hey, so today I'm gonna to teach you how to ride. The I'm gonna be redoing the bar tape on these bars. This video, I'm gonna show you how I fix a flat feet. Unboxing the Feedback Sports Omnium Portable Resistance Strength. I think if I can show those examples, then it can go a long way to having someone see themselves in the sport. This is upside down. But I'm one person and I cannot possibly represent all black people. And I'm not trying to. I'm trying to broadcast a signal to say, hey, there are a lot of people out here that need to be represented. Maybe we can, we can do something about that. Um, and one of my biggest messages is go find them. 
there's a lot of things changing so rapidly and cycling is doing its best to keep up. The companies are hiring people now that want diversity, they want this equality that people are longing for. I'm really proud of Aisha for everything that she stands for and her willingness to put herself out there. For her to be constantly like knocking down barriers is pretty amazing. One of my big goals this year is to not see myself as different in the races. I've been training and preparing and I'm ready to see what it can do. I understand the importance of showing up. I understand the importance of being a woman of color in a peloton filled with mostly white women. And I think that's why representation is so important because if you have that example, it's much easier to do it. We have to start somewhere. I'm knocking down the door and then someone else is gonna like come in and destroy all the things. And that's gonna really inspire people. I know that there's more out there and I'm hoping that it finds its way into bike racing.